Since the 1970s, various countries have claimed islands in the South Sea of China. This has scaled up since then, to the present day, to a major dispute of countries for resources. This is the China-South Sea dispute. The, this conflict of China is actually in China, but there, there are some people, some places are fighting for the sea, for the natural resources it has, and these are the nation of Brunei, People's Republic of China, that is t Taiwan, um, Malaysia, Republic of Philippines, and the Socialist Republic of Vietnam. And what they are doing is they are utilizing um, soft power because they're just making like a little conflict, but they're not actually having some action. They're not actually putting in some effort to make war. And what people are are saying is that maybe there will be war if they continue having these little conflicts because they want all the resources they can get from the Sea of China. Okay, so what is realism? Realism is basically the central actors are the states. They search for power and anyone else can have, like they want the maximum power in the world. They search for their own self-interest, self-preservation, they don't care about each other, they only care about them. And I think the perfect example will be the Cold War, when Russia and United States were searching for their own benefits. Like, they don't care about others, they just wanted to be good and be safe and their own benefits. So, the principal actors that are involved in these South China Sea conflict are Brunei, Cambodia, uh, China, Malaysia, Indonesia, the Philippines, Singapore, Taiwan, Thailand, Vietnam that are the borders of the sea and we have Japan, South Korea, the principal actor that is South China and United States. And what is the idealism? Idealism is completely the opposite of realism. They search for peace, they want the people and the community to interact with politics to hear what they want to say and to search for a good that will beneficiate everyone. And I think the perfect example for idealism was in the end of the World War I when Woodrow Wilson worked to promote democracy and national self-determination. The risk of conflict in South China Sea is really important because China, Taiwan, Vietnam, Malaysia, Brunei and the Philippines have competing territorial and jurisdictional claims, especially over the rights to exploit the region's reserves of oil and gas. Freedom of navigation in the region is also a big issue, especially between the USA and China because the US military vessels to that can operate in the China's 200 mile exclusive economic area. These issues are raising apprehensions about the growth on China's military, military power and its regional intentions. China has gone into a modernization of its maritime paramilitary forces as well as naval capabilities and to, oh, and this is to enforce its sovereignty and jurisdiction claims by force, well, if it is necessary. At the same time, China is developing capabilities that will put the U.S. forces in the region at risk in a conflict. Given the growing importance of the U.S.-China relationships or bond, um, the United States has a major interest in preventing any one of the various disputes in South China see, <laughs> from becoming military.